hello, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to do another, um, I'm, oops, I'm going to do another, uh, MFBK stream. Uh, and today what I want to look at is, um, this issue in MFPK Glyph, which is the shapes tool issue uh, 235 that I started. And the basic idea for this issue is that the, um, the circle and oval tools aren't creating circles and ovals with the kind of point structure that's like usually expected from a font editor, which is this. And so I made this issue and Frederick um, kindly made this response where he kind of spelled out like exactly how everything works. And he pointed out the problem and he suggested that the, the answer to the issue is to use um, is to use this um, this library, uh, Kerbo, which is used for uh, RuneBender, the, the other font editor I work on. So um, I think what I'm going to try to do today, I, um, I probably won't, um, I probably won't have time to make like any kind of real progress on it, but I thought I would just kind of play around on stream with figuring out um, how to get this fix made for the shapes tool. So you kind of see, let's see. So here we have, let's see, we have this, 300 kind of 50 ish line file. That's the um, the shapes tool for modular font editor. Okay, I should, before I get into like trying to implement this though, I should um, just kind of quickly show what it actually looks like. So, let's do, okay, so I've got, I've got this thing, I added Kerbo twice to the Tomo file. So let's fix that really quick. And you can kind of see like normally to search for stuff in Vim, I just do the, um, I hit like forward slash and then Kerbo. And then you can kind of see, uh, yeah, Kerbo. Called twice. We just remove one, and this should work. There we go. So here is modular font editor K. Put it in full screen mode, and I'll kind of show. So here we've got circle tool and the oval tool. And you can kind of see like, um, these are unnecessary, these are unnecessary, these are unnecessary, these are unnecessary. So we don't want these to be created. Uh, the problem is though, like if you see kind of like Frederick points out here, um, This is the draw circle function right here. And it's using the like skia, this like skia path ops 
thing, and the way that it's all set up is um, Frederick just kind of thinks that Kerbo would be the best way to do this. Um, So here's an example of like actually using Kerbo. Here's all the Kerbo stuff that gets imported. So let me let me look at Kerbo a little bit just in isolation. We have like look at how we got that. So this is all this like uh, SVG HTML stuff is from the from the, the original example, and we don't really need to use that. Okay. Now what's the difference between these two? Because it's like circle, two path,
Okay, so it looks like that's in source shape. So let's take a look at that. Okay, source shape. simplify this real quick just uh Okay, so let's see. standard Okay, so this is, here's the two path function, two path.
Okay. So let's try, let's try to figure out how we can move something like this over to um, over to MFEK. So what does he say? Yeah, let me see. So I want to look at this trait before I do anything else. Um, from skia path this is calling a trait impl the aforementioned from skia path design defined here this is glyph parser from ski a path, from ski a path. It's very straightforward. Okay. So he says, this is a complex conversion. I documented the best I could. I left around old debug eprints in case you find a broken case. It's quite complicated and takes multiple passes because Skia's paths can contain 
conics and quads, both of which we want to up convert to cubics. Okay. And this is all happening in glyph parser. The same the same one we were looking at earlier. So Problem is conics to cubics, skia shapes created with skia paths contain conics. Note in the comments. We call convert conic to quad and then make the results into two adjoining quads. But MFPK glyph barely works at all in quad mode. So we do not try to give our users quads. We immediately take the two quads and make them cubics. Okay, so I think I kind of have my head around what needs to be done to solve this. It's gonna be a little tricky, so I'm gonna kind of play around with it a little bit. Um, and then, um, let me let me try to try to figure this out on stream for a little bit and I'll see how far it can get but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be able to figure out this whole issue tonight but let me see how far I can get okay so thus your four extra points so what is the solution I suggest instead of writing a circle generator code yourself which is not a good habit to get into as it increases our code size and we already have many libraries you use Kerbo. Kerbo circle implements shape so you should be able to quite trivially build a Bezier path. Note this code in math rlib which could trivially be moved to create a trait which would allow you to convert any Kerbo Bez path to and from any Skia path. Okay, so I mean, that's the meat of what we want to do right there. 
Um, where should this trait go? Would the would the trait just go in in shapes? Okay, I'm a little lost. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Um, I'm gonna kinda cut this stream short. Um, but this is, gonna, this is gonna give me something to work on for a little bit. I'll try to, try to figure this out and uh, make a pull request sometime this week. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice night.